Hello, my name is Mary and I'm here at the Rockwell Museum in Corning, New York. And we are located on the ancestral land of the Seneca people, who are one of the six nations of the Iroquois Confederacy. We like to call, use the term Haudenosaunee because the name Iroquois is not a native name. So do you know what the word Haudenosaunee means? It means they who built the extended house. And what it refers to is the traditional bark longhouses that the Haudenosaunee lived in. But it's also symbolic of the coming together of the six nations of the Confederacy and living under one longhouse roof in peace. So our Haudenosaunee Gallery was created to honor our region's cultural history. The art and the objects from different nations, and they range from pre-contact objects, which are those that were created before the Europeans came to North America, all the way up to contemporary fine art. So, do you like games? I know I do. And I want to tell you about two traditional Haudenosaunee games that inspired games that are still being played today. And games have always been a part of Haudenosaunee social life. And they still are. So, do you know what this is? If you're thinking it's a lacrosse stick, you're right. This is a Haudenosaunee lacrosse stick from the late 1800s. The stick is made from hickory, and the basket is made from leather and cotton. And it's about three feet long. The modern game of lacrosse originated from the Haudenosaunee. But why is it called lacrosse? Well, over 400 years ago, when the French Jesuits saw the game being played, they called it lacrosse because it was played with a long stick which they called a cross. The game was played with this long stick in a basket, and the basket was made of deer sinew. The shape and the design have changed and evolved over time. So the players must catch, carry, and pass the ball using the lacrosse stick. Historically, the game was played on a field as short as 100 yards and as long as several miles. And the teams could be made up of a handful of players or hundreds of players. The players used their sticks with the nets on the end to throw the ball as they moved up the field trying to score a goal. And the team that scored the most goals, they won. Now, the game of lacrosse had many purposes. First of all, the game is considered a gift from the creator. It is seen as a medicine game and a way to heal and strengthen the people. Sometimes, it was used to resolve disputes or settle bad feelings between clans and other nations within the Haudenosaunee. And it was also played to bring families and communities and nations together. And today, lacrosse remains an international sport played all over the world. And today there is a team of Haudenosaunee lacrosse players called the Iroquois Nationals who represent the Confederacy in international league made up of teams from other countries as well as the United States. Now, the other game that I want to talk about is called the Snow Snake Game. Have you ever heard of that before? This is a traditional Haudenosaunee snow snake made in the early 1900s. And it is made of wood and the tip is made of lead. And traditionally it's played during the winter by teams of men and boys. And the teams compete by throwing this long spear or stick down the length of a snow track which has been built up from the ground. And the team that throws it the furthest, they are the winners. Now, the name refers to the way the snow snake looks as it moves down the track. It slithers like a snake. And there are two types of snow snakes. There is the long snake, which is over seven feet in length, and the smaller, the mud cat, which is three feet. And this is the shorter of the two. And the best players, they can throw that snow snake more than a mile down the snow track. 
and long ago, the snow snakes were used for communication because during the winter, they could throw those snow snakes down the frozen riverbeds and deliver messages between winter camps. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning about these two very special Haudenosaunee games. I encourage you to come and visit the Rockwell Museum and see our beautiful Haudenosaunee Iroquois contemporary art and objects of material culture. Be sure to check out the other resources available on the museum website. There are links to the National Museum of the American Indian and also the Ganondagan State Historical Site and Museum.